we need a final Halo MCC update. Around about a month ago now, I spoke about how 343 is moving on from the Master Chief Collection, no more devs are working on the game as a whole, and yet the game is so close to being finished. One thing I have learned in my 20 years being in the Halo community, never say never, and if there is a need for something, as a community, we can achieve it. In today's video, I'm going to be outlining what the final MCC update should be, when should it be, and why I think it's going to benefit 343 and the community in the long run. Now, the Master Chief Collection has no doubt come a long way. Starting on Xbox in 2014, it was completely broken. From the host being able to kick from match-made games, to not even be able to get into match-made games. Problems with achievements, problems with the campaign, problems with the individual games in the collection. Any sort of bug you can think of, the game launched with those issues. After 10 to 15 updates to the Xbox version of the game, 343 was no closer to actually fixing the title. It remained broken for a very long time. Halo 5 came out and people always wanted to see the game fixed. 343 then decided to start working on the game, adding Reach to the Master Chief Collection, fixing numerous bugs, and on the whole, making the game so much more playable. I remember off the top of my head, Bonnie Ross at the time said the Master Chief Collection was a black eye for the studio, so they wanted to go back and fix it. Then El Dorito, the Halo Online cancelled Russian game, got a lot of traction online when it was released by modders, so much so that Microsoft actually struck it down, but because of that, we got the Master Chief Collection on PC. Now, as the games rolled out on PC, it gave them a second life, a lot of the game-breaking bugs were fixed, we got the addition of mods, brand new and cut content, for all of the Halo games, including new customization. The game has truly come a long way with many people who are going to watch this video are going to say, Remy, the game is in a good enough state now that we don't need a final update. And I can see why people might think that. I think it needs one more. So this is what I propose. The Halo Master Chief Collection turns 10 years old in November of this year, 2024. That gives 343 10 months to the day to do one final MCC update, bring some big ticket items to the game that is going to help its longevity for years to come without 343's support. Well, first of all, co-op for a lot of the games isn't working correctly. That really needs to be fixed. The audio on Halo 2 Classic is really, really bad. This is an essential thing that needs to be fixed as it's greatly affecting the product. There are other things on the wish list that I really want to see done, original loading screens, original credits for the original games, add a main menu music selector, use the original mission thumbnails when you're selecting your mission, lots of small things. From a community standpoint, there are so many things 343 could do to increase the longevity of the title as a whole. I've spoken about it before, but rotational playlists. We haven't had any new rotational playlists on Halo MCC for two years since Halo Infinite released. If 343 doesn't have the resources to do it, getting community members to make new and exciting exciting rotational playlists and then add it to the pre-existing buckets. An MCC bucket is one of the little boxes you select when looking for a game and then the whole community can enjoy it. There is also all the cut El Dorito maps as well as the amazing modded maps the community has made. Halo 3's version of Lockout and Sanctuary come to mind. That would be fantastic in matchmaking. Now 343 has said they don't have the dev resources to QA test what is going to break when these maps are added to matchmaking which is why I'm making this video to show to the higher ups at 343 that we we care about the classic Halo games, we want to see them in the best state possible, and it's going to do nothing but benefit them to do so. Then there are much larger issues. Issues that I think affect the Master Chief Collection as like a museum for past Halo games. For example, 343 changed the bloom on Halo Reach, which basically smears Vaseline on the lens of the game, making it look way more blurry. So if you ever play Halo Reach and it's very, very blurry it's because 343 added this, I think it looked much better beforehand, and a lot of people agree with me. Having a toggle for that would be great. Right. The next big issue, and it's the biggest one of all, is one, bringing a select amount of mods to the Xbox player base, but two, adding a custom games browser like other Halo games on PC that feature modded maps. A modded custom games browser feature that allows you to download the mod or the map is the biggest thing 343 could add to improve the longevity of Halo as a whole. If you want a game that is self-sustaining while you guys move on to the project after Halo Infinite, this is the way to do it. I have spoken to a number of modders who have spent thousands and thousands of hours creating and designing Halo mods. A lot of them I've featured on the channel. They themselves have said that compared to the campaign mods, there is very little desire to make multiplayer related ones because nobody's going to play them. Having to organize a whole custom game session is very, very difficult. And something that 343 actually removed moved is you can't just join someone on the Halo MCC PC customs. By that I mean, and for some reason I don't know why, 
You can't change the privacy of your fire team or your lobby to open anymore. You can do friends or invite only. That means anyone who joins into my MCC modded sessions, one has to add me as a friend or I have to look them up to invite them manually. They can't just look my name up in game and join that way. And even then people crash, some people the mods don't install correctly, sometimes you have to reselect the game mode and map itself, and then mysteriously, it'll just start working. There are so many things to improve the quality of life of this game, and if 343 needs more evidence to this, whenever 343 has updated Halo MCC, the population skyrockets. I have even seen it with my individual videos. I covered Halo 2 Classic last week. I covered mods to the multiplayer and for the campaign, and it was one of my best performing videos of the month. There is a desire for classic Halo games, and an even bigger desire to see them on the Master Chief Collection exactly the way they were originally. So again, my proposal is this. One final Halo MCC update to fix a majority of things with the game to finally finish the collection and the game as a whole. Then 343 can move on. Really, I think the modded MCC custom browser is tier one, as well as fixing Halo 2 Classics audio. If you think 343 should do this, or you have suggestions on what you'd love to see in the update, leave me a comment down below. But thank you all for watching. Hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later.